All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Door. So, I have a lot to explain. For one thing, this video is late. It definitely is late. Uh, as you can see, the duel is already done. Usually you would have, like, the blackout simulates to being like, Oh, yep, you don't know who's next, even though you kind of know. Uh, but we're actually doing this one right here, the Master of Magicians. And when I mean we're doing this one, we're doing it again because... Guess what, people? Guess what? Despite my computer just being, you know, the tits, I'm a beast of a computer, despite me paying $200 for the new Camtasia 9, it still dropped frames or whatever. It did something. It, it almost crashed. I, I recorded it with Camtasia. I stopped the recording. It was supposed to save it. It almost crashed. And then when it saved it into to editing, like, the audio track and the, the voice recording track, it was all off sick. It was off, and it fell behind by, like, I want to say, like, two minutes, right? And unlike Camtasia 8, where it's like, all right, well, your voice and the recording are this one, and then just the background sound is this one. All right, I can just delete the background sound, and you'll still get my voice. Uh, it sucks, but at least you'll get something. No, Camtasia 9 decides to change it to where my voice is on one recording, but the sound and video on the other. So literally, it was like off sync. I could not fix it, so rip on that. So uh, what I have to do is re-record this episode, except... Now I'm recording with OBS. OBS is much better. OBS doesn't drop frames. OBS keeps everything in sync. So hopefully we will not have this issue with OBS. In which case, if we do, then it's... I don't know. Because my, like I said, I have a beast of a computer. I, I paid uh, over $1,000 to make sure that I get a, the best computer I can to bring you guys the good quality. You know, I got like an i7 core. I got 32 gigs of RAM. You know, I, I got a fucking beast, you know? So, uh... Lately, the live streams have been doing pretty well. I think we only had, like, one hiccup, which was my fault, which I fixed. Uh, so, outside of that, we should be going great. So, hopefully this will work. Uh, but now this video is late because the, the, the one that I had with Camtasia didn't work. So, it means I had to re-record. Uh, and uh, hopefully everything will work for this episode and the next episode with OBS. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Once again, I got to reread, revoice re act, redo this duel. The first duel was really good. Like, I kicked his ass, but hey, we'll find out what's a rematch. Best two out of three, right, people? Best two out of three. Anyway. <laughs> As the Battle City tournament continued, Merrick learned that the Egyptian god he was seeking had been played. Opposite the Tormentor has been played? Yes, moments ago in Battle City, and we identified the card owner, Seto Kaibo. Of course! How did you know, sir? It's quite simple. My sister, Ishizu, conspires against me. She gave Kaiba that card to stop me. I should have known Ishizu is behind this whole tournament. She used her Millennium Necklace to foresee the events of Battle City. Ishizu knew it, if she gave Abelisu Tormentor to Kaiba, he'd throw a tournament out of Creed to obtain the other Egyptian god cards. Sir, shall I order a team of rare hunters to pay Kaiba a little visit? No, leave Kaiba to his games. First, I need to weaken the Pharaoh. Dispatch Arcana to take down Yugi Moto. Later in the Battle City Tournament, a strange clown lured Yugi to a secret lair with dangerous contraptions. Welcome, Yugi Moto. I'm the illusionist known as Arcana, and soon your favorite card, Dark Magician, will be dueling for me. Only a true master of illusion deserves to hold a Dark Magician. He will never understand its full potential. That's enough, Arcana. I know it must be hard to think of your favorite card in another duelist deck. Well, I challenge you to a duel. The winner will take the loser's dark position. I accept. You must know that when a duelist builds his deck, he chooses a favorite from many different types of cards. No, you, you take the deck that you think will be the best, and then you spend thousands of dollars on that deck, no matter how expensive it is, make the most consistent, best, top-tier, tier zero deck, go win, and... That, 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 that's Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> but sometimes, a card can choose a duelist. The two are connected, and a duelist can tap into that card's true power. You mean like how I connected with Yu-Bell, and my true power tapping into the true power is constantly drawing Yu-Bell into my hand when I don't want it? Yeah, I, I think that, yep, definitely. The card's true power. Being in my hand and clogging it. <laughs> because the each is bound by the heart of the card, and Dark Magician has chosen me. Enough. Let's shuffle our decks and... Let the show begin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. No, not that yet. <laughs> Alright, so last time, I just beat his ass. Like, I summoned Dark Magician Girl, played the Save Stones, I'm a Dark Magician. They have my life points to summon another Dark Magician. Like, he only summoned one Dark Magician by tribute summoning. Like, he had a monster on the field that I didn't kill by battle. No, it was Mystic Tomato, which floated. 
Monster Born one of my monsters is the monster I tribute someone for Dark Magician Girl and then tribute someone those two for uh Dark Magician, right? But I already had Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl on the field. The attack tried to attack my Dark Magician Girl, spellbend in circle, crashed my Dark Magician with his Dark Magician, which of course boosts Dark Magician Girl up to twenty six hundred. Then I summoned another Dark Magician, like I beat Arcana's ass. So if we can go ahead and literally just run that back, I'd actually be totally fine with that for uh, this recording it. We could just run that back on him. Because that it was a really good duel. So, my hand is definitely not the same. I didn't have, you know, the Summon Skull. I didn't open up with two Dark Magicians, but, I mean, I can do the the Magician's Curtain. It says, oh, or he can also do Magician's Curtain. All right, so, I guess maybe we'll just both do Magician's Curtain. I don't know. It'd be nice if I got something with Summon Skull of Polly, you know? That's that red eyes that Joey gave me, maybe? No. All right, so, control the face of Dark Magician Girl. Summon Dark Magician from my hand or deck, but I already have the two Dark Magicians in my hand, and this summons the other one from my deck. So after this, uh, my hand will be completely clogged. So that's, that's great. <laughs> so I guess I'll go ahead and play my Magician Dark Magician Curtain t as well. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Spelljammer. Wow, so, uh, I think he might win, because I paid half my life points for cost. Wow, I went from like, oh yeah, I did the last duel, I do it against him, I beat his ass to literally like, I might lose this turn. Like, he, he opened up the tits, I opened up ass, like this hand is ass. I mean, holy shit, and the magic jammer, that, that sucks. The magic jammer just stops you in your trap. Wow, awesome, I got fucking, uh, feral imp. Ooh, alright, Yuki. Alright, so, this is probably game. Like, all he needs to do is just flip up the, one of the monsters and just hit me with it. Wow. <laughs> a complete turnaround. Like, yep, yep, that was a nice. Pop my monster, Dark Magician attack, and that's game. Wow. Wow. <laughs> God damn. God damn. <laughs> like, why? Why do I have to run this back? Can I skip this? Yeah, skip. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> That was like a complete 180. A complete 180. It went from me beating his ass and just being like fucking like, he did like nothing. I just beat his ass with Dark Magician, Dark Magician go to literally pay half my life for nothing as if I fucking played, um, uh, a hero lives and you negated it and it's proceeded to beat my ass. Alright, this seems like it's more like the first duel. Alright, so ectoplasm. Play that and I take half the attack. You know, I don't think I like that, sir. Like, I kinda, I, I don't, I don't think I like that play. Like, that's weird. So, uh, you cannot summon other monsters to turn, but you can set. Alright, so, I mean, I can set this, but I'm definitely gonna be summoning the Stock Magician, my boy. And I got Graceful Charity, so. Alright. Run that back. Best two out of three. Best two out of three. Best two out of three, you would be like, oh, yep, yep. I take your cards. You're selling in half. You go to the shadow room. Like, no, no, no. Best two out of three. Best two out of three. <laughs> I can't see you keep doing that. Ah, uh, that's funny. Um, uh, I like to keep the brain control, if I don't mind. Now, okay, keep dark vision. So I'm going to get rid of the poly, and I'm going to get rid of the stone. I'll keep everything else. Like you said, Grace of Charity is a great card. It should definitely still be banned, but I still don't think it's as good as Pot of Greed because I get a plus one. Now. That I just evened out, so. And then I believe I get. Is it a face up monster? Yeah, it's a face up monster, so I have to attribute uh, my Dark Magician, which sucks, but. Yeah. Like, wow. Alright, so. You can come after me. Oh, never mind, Dark Hole. Alright. You're also gonna Dark Magic Turn and pay half your life point. I'm gonna definitely still have circle your ass, and then you're gonna attribute your Dark Magician. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna Spellbinding Circle you, so I don't take all that damage. And then you're gonna Ectoplasma your Dark Magician. And then I take half of that. Uh, yeah, Brain Control is face of monster. Oh, I, I mean, I could monster reborn my Dark Magician, or his Dark Magician, but then I would still have to tribute it, so still not the best of plays right now. I think I'll just go ahead and potentially take it slow for now. 
kind of want to see what he does before I really do anything. Like that set monster, that set monster wasn't there, you know, I'd, I'd go in Monster Reborn, Dark Magician, you know, I'll go for game. But it just happens to be the monster set. If it's faced up, I can brain control it, move that out the way. But no, can't do that either, you know. This is, oh, and Stealth Bird too. All right, so I guess I'm burned. Yep. So you go back face down. You take all that damage. All right. I go plasma tribute that. I'm not dead yet. Cause I only take half. All right. So I can literally just go now. Since I know what this is, I can uh, summon Feral Imp, Monster Born, Dark Magician, Dark Magician attack over and have uh, Fiend a go for a game. So. Give me your Dark Magician, you dick. <laughs> Let's master of magicians now. Ha, ah, that's the interesting about it, thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. There's so much luck involved that even the best of decks can lose to the worst of decks depending on how you open, you know? You could still open up like straight ass and your opponent can open up the tits and you lose still, so. Alright, so that's game. Ah, there, we're in that back. Yeah. This can't be. There's no way you could have defeated me, Yugi. I'm the greatest magician the world has ever known. I feel like I've read this before. I have. <laughs> you relied on Tricky to win instead of trusting and respecting the heart of the cards. No, he, op he relied on opening up the tits and I opened up like ass and him and losing the magic jammer. <laughs> like, Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. Nerf again. Arcana is gone. So we meet again, little Yugi. I'm sure I need no introduction. To your face, Merrick, you coward. I'll do myself to you when the time is right, and no sooner once I obtain what's mine, and you know exactly what I want, the unlimited power of the ancient pharaoh, the spirit that lives within your puzzle. Tell me why you want the pharaoh's power. Because the power is rightfully mine, and once I have it, I will be unstoppable. The world will belong to me, and no one will stand in the way of my destiny, especially not you. Oh yeah? Just watch me, Merrick. Listen, little Yugi, my family has slaved for centuries, protecting the tomb of the pharaoh until his return. And for what? I should be the pharaoh. Never. You won't get the power of the pharaoh, and I will make sure of it. Ha. We'll see about that. My destiny cannot be stopped. Don't you see? It's only a matter of time. The three Egyptian god cards, along with your millennium puzzle, will belong to me. Then, I will strip the pharaoh of its ancient power and infuse them within myself. Merrick, you'll never defeat me in a duel, so you'll never get your greedy hands on my puzzle. I promise you, by the sands of Egypt, the pharaoh's power will be mine. Another of my mind slaves is already in Battle City waiting to defeat you and take your puzzle, and he holds an Egyptian god card. And what is the name of this card? Beware the quiet one. We'll meet again, Yugi. There. Ugh. Like, I don't mind reading, but then you gotta read again the same thing. Anyway, we're done here. So, uh, it looks like OBS did not drop any frames. I mean, like I said, OBS is hopefully works better, beats the computer, contagious is just crap, even though I paid... $200 for it, but I mean, I guess it's still the editing software, so I use, so I'm still gonna take this file, put it in the editing software, and do all of that, so, but still, it's just a pain in the ass that I, you know, and it's not like I'm doing too much to recording, I'm literally recording fucking this, and Kim Fraser's like, no, nah, I'm crashing, I can't handle it, I'm a piece of shit, like, alright, alright, so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed, uh, this, uh, episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Duels. I apologize it was late, but I'm gonna get right on to recording the next part here. Uh, we're gonna be playing Joey Dueling against Weevil. I don't remember this episode either, but hey, I don't know. Like, this is the way to remember it. So, thank you guys for being so understanding, so uh, supportive, and I will see you guys next time. Some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, some more Legacy of Duels. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.